when one does something and says something in the distant past and comes back to haunt you when you are at your best and you're doing your utmost to your country, you call that Van Jonesism. Now, Mr. Vance Jones was the big czar up in Washington trying to create green jobs and trying to help America out and I think he was doing such a wonderful job and I wish that uh, this ism hadn't come to a catch up with him because he would have continued doing the great job and the principle we need to learn from this is that when you see a camera on and they're recording you you better be at your best even if you're speaking about your enemy talk to him, talk about him in terms of as if he were a saint I recall when I was in LA I'm coming out at Hollywood at, at Vine Station and most times I would see a big crowd there people would blow horn and they talking about Bush and, and the Iraq war and the Afghan war and all that and when I'm coming up some interesting persons would try to tell me hey, you want to join this thing here and I'm asking myself what kind of dumb stuff is this I mean right there you have the federal government you have the state you have the county you have the city at least that's how I see it police there trying to find like who's go what's going on who are these people taking videos you know recording all that stuff so I'm not gonna join something that I haven't started and that was hijacked by some people no I'm not gonna join anything that I find is kind of weird and I think that was weird because you go and you say things the next thing you get locked up or something then while well, downtown LA there was an organization that purports to be helping the homeless and the poor and all this and um, they were they tell me that they were ex-black pandas now I don't know what that meant perhaps they hate somebody I'm not sure the whole scenario with that black panther story but what they wanted to do was hey come over and let us go and sit down in the mayor's office I said oh, come on man what kind of thing is that why must I go sit down in the mayor's office yeah man we want to you know this and that sir please I, I have no time with that bro then they come up with the next game and let's go and demonstrate in front of the the LAPD office on 5th or 6th street and uh, uh, close by uh, Los Angeles street and again I'm asking myself what kind of thing is this are you going to oppose the LAPD and they, you will make them uh, your enemy or something like that that's kind of dumb so one day I was passing and I said hey come man we're gonna, we gonna do something the mayor the mayor was in the, off, uh, in the police station around there I don't know what they were going to sort of demonstrate against him or whatever so I went over and I asked him I said Mr. Mayor uh, I have some ideas I want to discuss with you I want to show how we could create some jobs in the city he held my hand I don't know if he felt I might uh, hit him with my hand or whatever but he hold on to my hand and he listened to all I said and then he gave me a lady who to liaison with but I know how that goes he talked to her and didn't go nowhere so that was the end of it but I'm not gonna let nobody set me up like that I must of myself go and do something dumb not nobody setting me up like that because these people who had the signature to prosecute the ex big shots they're supposed to be radical but how now your signature is going to come out and get you I mean who are these people in this organization so you got to be so careful with these organizations out there unless I start something I don't want to be a part of nothing I enjoy no, no none of these kind of things that kind of fly by night out here because next thing you know you end up with some serious problems